Hey there guys, got a new light here from Grow Wealth called the G3000. As the name suggests, it's a 300 watt light and it's best suited for three foot by three foot or 90 centimeter by 90 centimeter grow area. It's a very good value for money light and a good performer too, as you'll see in a minute when I show you the tests. But uh, interestingly, this one is not just great value for money, but has lots of features too. So it's got UV and IR. Um, the kind of form of the light is nothing new really. It's um, fairly typical these days. It's got a aluminium reflector um, on the back, which also holds the LED boards. Got two quantum board style uh, boards fitted in here. And on the back, you've got the driver mounted and also the dimming controls and um, on off switches for the infrared and UV. The LEDs themselves are all coated, so you've got a silicon coating over the, um, the LEDs to protect them from dust and dirt and uh, moisture. The LEDs themselves, you've got white Samsung LEDs. And they're a mixture of cool white and warm white. You've also got the 660 nanometer reds for uh, enhanced system efficiency. And then, as you can see here, when I was testing the spectrum, we've got two switches one that will add UV, so be out of the power spectrum, uh, below 400 nanometers, got a peak at 380, and got some UVA. And that's an additional 15 watts of UVA. And then you flick the other switch and you've got infrared, another 15 watts of infrared. So you can widen and broaden out the spectrum with, um, with UVA and infrared, which is a nice feature for this price particularly. You've got dimming controls on top, so you can dim manually. To assess performance of the light, I hung it up in its specified three foot by three foot or 90 centimeter by 90 centimeter test area. And I was happy to find that the optimum hanging height, which for me is dropping the light down on full power until the center point measurement is in around a thousand micromoles. And I found that height to be the same as specified by the manufacturer, so 16 inches or 40 centimeters hanging height. And I got our spot on quantum sensor and took measurements in a grid, six rows by six columns. So 36 power measurements to generate a power map. This power map shows us the total power output over its designated grow area and accounts for the whole system efficiency. So using reflective walls, uh, looking at the accounting for the reflectance losses of the system and um, seeing how much power the unit outputs or the light outputs for every watt consumed. Well, the average power over the target area is 797 micromoles. And this sort of around 800 micromoles is a very good level for high performance growing. And if you divide that total power output by the total power consumed, which is 300.5 watts, you get a system efficiency of 2.15 micromoles per watt or usable PPF per watt, which is a very good system efficiency for a light of this size. I did that test now without the UV and infrared LEDs on because they don't, um, they're, not met, they don't, they're not recorded by the power sensor. They're outside of the range of the normal power measurement. So you do get that extra 30 watts of UVA and infrared on top of that again, which is not highly photosynthetic, but it's quite photosynthetic and it'll certainly add to the growth. So overall, it's a fairly basic fixture, but you would expect that for a, for a light in this price range. It's very good value for money. Um, link is down below to their website, so you can pick them up there. Available for US and Canada buyers. And uh, as I said, I think it's $299, which for a 330 watt light with everything on, is very good value for money. You get lots of features and um, a decent build quality too. So happy to recommend it. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments about this fixture or anything else, please leave them in the comments section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.